All right, jumping into it against the Owl Bed Sykes. So we have pushed them up to level 98. Going over our techniques, we do have only base snapshot for Waka and Dotto. That is unfortunate. No, no sphere shot. I feel like we, we're being set up to fail here. I feel like it's all. Oh no. What do I do here? Oh, they have full anti nap. It doesn't matter. I was scared because I was I was wrestling with the idea that I, I need to put Keepa in the field because uh, he has nap shot too. But it doesn't matter because they're all it's all canceled. Uh, so our best bet is actually wither shot three with Waka. I know it's not going to actually like trigger because the anti wither too, but that's going to give us the highest amount of shoot possible to go against the might of Nimro. Well, let's jump in. Speaking of as well, I should talk about this. Speaking of the might of Nimrok, um, we do see some stat changes. Uh, and by stat changes, I mean stat change. Uh, I Honestly, I only saw, like in terms of changes, Nimrok get more catch. Like everything else I didn't really care about. I, I didn't see more endurance for the forwards. I didn't see like any, you know, increase of attack for the back line. I didn't, I, I just didn't see anything that mattered outside of Nimrok getting catch up to 66. So one more catch. Uh, one more problem and essentially what that means is I, I <laughs> I'm afraid so I can I can wither shot right I can wither shot through I can be cool But if I do that, I'm only gonna go up to 65 shoot and he'll still Have more catch than I have shoot and Nimrook is I said it last video. He will continue to be a wall uh, Continue to be the thing that tests us. I think once Nimrook hits 99 catch when I'm sure will happen I don't know what the levels are afterwards, but I feel like his catch has to increase more. Um, I think once that happens, we'll have some a real issue on our hands. Can we go for the sleep? Oh, we can. The one issue, of course, we do have to get past the Lapa. That is going to be fun. Let's go for it. And we're shut down. <laughs> I mean, it's expected, but, you know. It's it's the action we should take, because it leads to him having an encounter like this, which is inherently very difficult for him to get through. I mean, he can, he can definitely, like, you know, get the shot off, but there's just going to be too much going on. Like, there's just, I mean... Oh, wow, Waki gets it. That's perfect. That's actually exactly what I was hoping for. I'm trying to think, how do I get out of this? Like, I feel like no matter what I do here... Ah, oh man, maybe... Maybe I should have passed to uh, Dotto. I was going to say, no matter what I do here, I think I encounter multiple people. Like, if if only Waka was Dotto, like, he'd actually be able to get away. But we just we just force ourselves into a multi-person encounter. This is awful. Um, I mean, I don't want to think this way, but arguably, if we lose this... Or not if we lose, but uh, if we leave this first half 0-0, zero, zero, that might be for the best. But it all depends on what our... Uh, our next techniques are in in the following this I mean eager will drop attack so that's good and in Lake Ann's like injured slash slept oh not for long I was gonna say it feels so good for us that I really want to go for it but Lake Ann waking up is gonna put a damper on that uh, we're gonna go for the auto counter I think she'll pursue though I don't think she'll yeah I was gonna say I don't think she just leaves leaves Jasu B And with that, we probably need to go for the all-out defense. Uh, three minutes in, we've just been pretty ineffective, to be honest. The concern here is that she passes to Blappa. But not much we can do about it. We just gotta fight what we can and see where we go. Pass to Eager would also kind of suck, because I don't know who can actually encounter him. I mean, because Bada can, and Letty can. But is that enough? I don't know. I guess we're gonna find out. It's almost better that he uh, he doesn't have Letty tackle through, because there's some chances here. Oh, that's insane. That's too good. 38 versus 36. <gasps> Incredible super goalie. Oh no! <laughs> How much can I take? No! How much can I take? Oh my gosh, dude. No, there's no way. <gasps> oh 
Oh my gosh. Keepa. Keepa finally. The chosen one. He has finally been effective at one thing in his life. Alright, and Lake Yam being here to encounter, honestly kind of a good thing. Because I think when she gets the ball, it confuses them a little bit more. And sometimes they, they play weird. We got 40 seconds to kill. That is actually a substantial amount of time considering all their positions. Although they're kind of... Okay, never mind. It's it's GG. It's 0-0 zero, zero second half. Uh, Lake Yam went for the shot. We were full silly. We've gone full silly. I don't know what the idea is here, but it can't be success. I refuse to believe it. Keeper will pass it back. Otto will receive. And the second half, here we come. I dare say we're going to push them to level 99. If we can just get a goal. <laughs> Alright. Well, oh, we have Seer Shot and App Shot. Perfect. Oh, this is beautiful. This is everything we were hoping for. Alright. I dare say we're back in business. If we start with the ball too, oh, that's going to be lethal. Lapa immediately snoozing. Guaranteed. Oh, it's, yeah, he, it's over for him. I don't know why it's always him, but it, it seems to always be Blappa that, that pushes in. No one else does. It's just Blappa. Even Barrick pulls back. I don't even... I don't know what his problem is, but it's it's not working. It's not working for him at all. Next, This next one's going to be a little bit trickier. As we uh, as we really just hope that we're able to get the, uh, the sleep on Barrick. Really crossing our fingers. And there it is, one last pass to Letty. Again. Again and again and again. Uh, this is where... Actually, if I can earn Judah, is that crazy? I was going to say, this is... I feel like this is a justifiable, like, pass. Although she could definitely block it. Okay, she will immediately. Got it. I think all-out defense makes the most sense. It's the, it's the safest thing to do. See Judo with the ball. She's gonna go for the pass to Barrick. I do not like that at all. But okay. I wonder if Lake, if Letty gets it back, then maybe we can just go sleep Barrick immediately. I don't know. I, I will say this. There's a world where where Barrick blocks it. Although it's not nearly as likely as the world where Judah and Lake Ant block it. So we're I think we're I think we're okay with the odds. I think. I don't know. It's tough to say, dude. It really is. We're going to go for the pass to Letty auto counter, everything we normally do. If Eager would want to encounter two, that would just make my day. Uh, but I don't think he cares. And I think Lake Ham's going to be the one to push in. Oh, wait, no, it's Judah again. Beautiful. We get a second try. To be honest, I don't even know why I'm doing this. Like, I guess it kind of makes sense. So the argument for it is that now I can have Waka push forward, and yes, he will be encountered by, by Lake Yam, but he won't also be encountered by Judah. But that all being said, like, I don't, I'm torn. I don't know if it's effective yet or not. I mean, we're, we're doing it, so like, we're not, we can't really take it back, but we're going for the spear shot, point blank. <gasps> no, level three tackle. Survive. He doesn't survive and his shoe gets withered. Dang it. That is not good. Waka has been deemed ineffective for the rest of the half. That is not good at all. Dude, the Abed Sykes is hard to beat. They are such a challenge. They're such a challenge to face. He's gonna see a pass to Barrett. Probably gonna be like a Jasu recovery. Oh, it's a Letty. Interesting. I mean, I guess, shoot, we're already in position. Um, I mean, we, we gotta try, right? Like, there's no reason not. Oh wow, Lake Ann, I didn't realize, has more block now. She used to have 66, now she has 67. As if we needed that. Really bad hit, unfortunately. 
but we we wither her endurance. Maybe that's worth something. Ah, oh, she passed to Judah. Yeah, this this feels like a zero zero OT. I don't like this at all. I'm I'm really not liking how this is going. Barrack passed to Judah. I mean, it's fine. I mean, what are we gonna do, right? Not much to do. Let's see Judah push up here. I mean, I don't. <laughs> she she is not the uh, star forward. She has 10 shoot. She is not going to do anything impressive. There, I don't think she has invisible shot. I think it's it's banned from the series as a whole. Invisible shot was always a tough one to place because we banned it for ourselves because we knew how we could abuse it. But then we started banning it from the opponent because we knew how to block it every time. Like we had forwards go for invisible shot that they should have made, but then it went invisible and then we blocked it because we it was a mini game at that point that it, stats don't matter. We try to we try to remove most of the stats don't matter abilities. Although we do still have the nap shot, of course. Dude, I just don't know what to do here. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I don't know. I, I think I know what to do here. I just need to, I just need the numbers to make sense for me. I think I have to take a late cam hit. So here's here's my argument. I think it's more likely I survive a late cam hit than I nap pass her. You know what I mean? Like that that feels like that makes sense. But it's it's such a consistency thing, right? We have to consistently push against her and hope we get lucky once. And then when we do that, we got to get through, like, we, we got to get through Nimrook, who is, like, the best goalie ever. Like, it's it's so stacked against us. It's It takes forever to try. And all it takes is for them to have, like, a half good idea and then shoot the ball with Eager and Blappa and just destroy us. Like, that's kind of the, the, weird, the weird spot we find ourselves in, I feel. Oh, we are going to have Barrack uh, block it. That's not good. That's not what I like to see. I do not prefer this. He's gonna go for the the shot, which is just fine. It's not good, so it's fine. Um, I was getting greedy. I was trying to think if there was a way I could get eager in the encounter and not barrack, but I'm just getting encounter both if I could do that. Oh, that's scary. I thought we were about to get blocked again. But that being said, I, I have to try again. I must knock out Barrack. It's it's part of my my mantra. Although with this, we're getting dangerously close to an eager encounter. I think we're I think we're fine. I think we can now pass to uh, Letty and then encounter Eager. We we've done it. I know it's lame, but this is just the the the, the security, right? Because now we're, we're in a situation where theoretically, um, there it is. Now in reality, uh, <laughs> they have no uh, they have no forwards. So anything we do is free. We can do whatever we like. It's our game, not theirs. That being said, we're gonna pass to Waka. Take the late cam hit. Ideally, score. I don't know. I do think our shot goes down a little bit. Oh, come on. Really? Dude. Dude. All right, let's see if we can hurt Blake Am. I very much want to hurt Blake Am. Oh, come on. It was such a bad hit too. Like it, it that needed to be perfect. And this is surely gonna wake up Blappa. Bottle will recover, but what does it mean? It doesn't mean anything. Oh my gosh, I don't have the answer. I think I just passed to walk and hope for the best. Although I'm sure Judah gets this and puts me in a weird spot. Yep, yep, yep. We're on the flat line. I mean, I I, I gotta be honest. I'm there's a little bit of me throwing away the game plan the way I am, but I I just I I have to try to do something aggressive. Like, I'm I'm so tired of having to fight through these, these these backline players. It's insane. 
I got a minute and a half, and I, I, I can I can bait out. I can bait out another OT. That's not a problem. But I sure would like to win. All right, let's see. We can sleep Judah. The camera covers. Oh my gosh, Judah doesn't sleep. Judah, she is literally a vampire. Oh, this could be this could be really 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 good. Oh, but is it? Look at the side now. We have no we have no we have no clear path to get Waka a goal. I think in our efforts to uh, yeah in our in our efforts to be aggressive, we we put ourselves in an impossible to win situation. Uh, we can go for the auto counter. That's fine. Let me think about this. I don't think I escape. No. No escape. Not one. <sighs> okay. Dude, this team is so good. I mean, we don't call it the ladder challenge for nothing, that's for sure. Every single time we win, we make our, our future selves' lives harder. I mean, it doesn't matter. Like, there's, there's 10 seconds. Igor won't score. We just got to kind of run it back and see if we can get it in the, uh, in the next half. The further OT, if you will. Dude, absolutely insane. Another OT. The Albed Sykes are just... They are... I mean, that's the thing. It seems... <laughs> it seems like 30 is our difference, right? Like, once we hit 30, it's, it, all, it all becomes difficult. I mean, I want to keep the 30 level wins... Uh, the 30 level difference between our... Uh, we do not have a 30 game win streak. The 30 level difference between our teams, but... They do not make it easy. We are going to go for the uh, all-out defense. Nat Pass is really scary. I'm very grateful everyone's tackling. <laughs> Nat Pass could, uh, could ruin my life here. Because <laughs> look at his pass. He could have slept every single forward. He could have done it. He would have been so successful if he did that. If I was playing as the Albert Sykes, I would score in about two seconds here. Like, it's so easy. I'm, a, I'm greedy, I'm greedy. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter, I don't touch him. Tackle slip is forever, you know, forever causing us issues. Gonna see it pass to Blapa. Oh, disoriented, that's, that's big. Uh, because when when, uh, when Blapa drops attack here, he does not regain it for the rest of the game. It, it, any no amount of OTs, they'll never change their techniques. Consequently, that's why we don't change our techniques. To be honest, uh, we have the um, we have this like bracket set up where our team is essentially playing again, except like on a different team. Like I think we have all these players on the Luka Goers or something, and I think it's like because they're playing. The game does, like, set techniques, which is crazy. I'm so lucky that happened, because otherwise, like, randomizing techniques would be a little bit of a short, little bit of a chore. I'm trying to get away, but I don't know if I can. Yeah, no, I can't. Um, unless... I'm, I'm greedy. I'm greedy McGreed face. Okay, there's no way, right? I... Yeah, I was hoping for the best, but... I had to give it a shot, man. I had to, I had to give it give it a try. Maybe we can make him uh, tackle slip and then make him drop text. No, we can't. We can do half of that. It's not the half we care about. Gonna see past Eager. Dude, I, I feel like I'm getting rolled. I, I just, I don't know what I can do here. It, it definitely feels like I'm getting bullied into a corner. But it feels like I should win in the long game because they lose techniques off this tackle slip. But every single time they lose a tech, it's never the tackle slip tech. It's never, you know what I mean? Like, they're just constantly, they just got it going on. They truly are like Stacy's mom. It's crazy. All right, can we block it? Oh, no. It's not reducing fast enough. There's risk here. Incredible. All right, bottle with the ball. I'm gonna auto counter here. That's to Josu, I guess. I don't know. I'm kind of torn. I don't really know what the right answer is, to be honest. I mean, I'd like to encounter we can, but like, would I? 
Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is... This is a game of Blitzball. Um, brought to you by Pain. My Pain. I, I mean, I think I have to... I'm gonna make a... a yeah, there it is. I was gonna say, I'm gonna make a, a classic Blitzball mistake. I'm just gonna go for it. I don't know, maybe I'm tired, I don't know. It's uh, it's 7 p.m. right now, and I, I got up at around 4. So like, it's been, it's been about 15 hours. But, I didn't think it would matter. I don't know, I'm making excuses. I knew that was a dumb move, and I decided to do it anyways. I mean, that's just a sheer act of desperation. Um, we're gonna lose off the back of that nap pass, surely. Unless this reduces quickly. Well, maybe. Maybe we're fine. <gasps> Keepa. Oh my gosh. We're still alive. We're still in it. I'm just... I'm just so greedy. Alright. Where is... Alright. I'm gonna try to do something crazy. Perfect. Um, I'm gonna go for the pass. To, to bot it. Hear me out. Hear me out. I need... I need Blappa to get the ball. I'm... I'm, I'm is it metagaming? I don't even know what it's called. I need multiple people to encounter Blappa, and we need him to drop techniques. Come on. Come on. Two person. All right. Tackle slip. Disorientation. Let's go. Use it against him. It worked. It worked. It worked. With six seconds left, we make him drop another tech. All right. We're going to look at Blappa's techniques after this. See if we made him lose his tackle slip. We might have. We might have done it. Let's, let's check. Let's check. This might be the play. This might be the play to success. Purposely give them the ball, and then make them lose techniques. This could be it. This could be brilliant. Blappa. Where are you? Oh, he still has it. He lost two techniques. Neither of them were tackle slip. What a, what an animal. What an animal. I could do this all day. I could do this all day. Make him, the, th the beautiful thing about this strategy is the only time we can't make him lose techniques that way is when he loses tackle slip, which is what we're trying to do. <laughs> so he he will forever be a target for that kind of strategy. I've never done that before, but dude, I'm 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 getting I'm get, I'm playing dirty now. I'm getting in the in the in the mud, just like whatever I can do to get this person to stop slipping tackles. Oh my gosh, it is crazy how good that technique is. I mean, it's it's really I mean, it, to be honest, it's it's really paired with their. Uh, with their ability uh, or with their stats right like having such good stats every hit matters um oh yeah this is bad but every hit matters so when they're able to avoid even one hit it's like it's completely deflates our defense it's completely deflated all right well i felt like a really cool guy with everything i did and eager is about to show me how i'm not cool dotto block this please that was decent, but was it enough? I don't know. I can't believe it, dude. Every time. 30 levels is the promised land that we cannot keep. They are able to push us up to the funny number. Level 69. That is insane. Dude, I mean, good, good game for them. We have to go to level 69 eventually. But wow. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. What a marathon. Hope you enjoyed it. When you come back, we will be playing more Blitzball. Till next time.